There's been a significant drop in the overall prison population across New South Wales since before the pandemic. According to new figures, they also reveal there are more Aboriginal adults incarcerated compared to three years ago. It comes after a Closing the Gap report shows the country is failing to meet the majority of its targets. The pandemic has really driven down the prison population remarkably. New figures show there are 1,000 fewer people in New South Wales prisons compared to three years ago, representing an 8% reduction in the total prison population. But, according to the New South Wales Bureau of Crime Statistics and Research, the number of Aboriginal adults in custody is now higher than before the pandemic. Aboriginal men now account for 28% of the total male prison population, while 40% of the female prison population is Indigenous. That's uh, really concerning. We can see an increase in both Aboriginal males and Aboriginal females. And what that really means is because the Aboriginal population is moving in contradiction to the mainstream population, we're seeing an ever-increasing proportion of the prison population who are Aboriginal. New South Wales Shadow Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, David Harris, says individual pilot programs in select areas are having a positive impact to reduce Aboriginal incarceration rates, but the government is slow to commit to a widespread rollout. What we need from the government is to move away from these pilot schemes, these one-off uh, place-based uh, ideas and actually make these programs available more generally. This trend is in contradiction to the commitment to close the gap that aims to reduce Aboriginal overrepresentation in the criminal justice system by at least 15% by 2031. In the latest Closing the Gap annual data report released by the Productivity Commission, only four out of 17 targets are on track. The New South Wales government has been contacted for comment. Kenny Heatley, Sky News, Sydney.